What's going on guys? Today we're going to be going over how to install a hitch assembly on a 2019 Toyota Highlander. Let's get into it. Here's the part number for the hitch for the Highlander. So first you're going to want to remove this cover here, this back piece, and then this cover. And then if you're doing this down on the ground, not on a lift, you'll want to remove the exhaust from this hanger to get it down. If you're doing it on a lift, you can slide the hitch up over the top. To get this back piece off, there's a clip here and here, and then right where this is, there's a clip and then a 10, you'll take that out. And then to actually get it off, you'll just grab here and pull, because there's little clips that clip into the bumper up here, but you'll just kind of pull it backwards and it'll pop out. After you get the covers off, you're gonna to wanna to remove uh, this clip. The clips like this that look like they have like the little socket on them. That one. And then you'll remove this bolt here and we'll replace this bracket. And there's one more clip there. So there's the two upper ones and then these two bottom ones and then that bolt. These two can stay in and then on this side, same thing, it's these two clips, and then these two, and then all the way back here at this back one. We'll remove all those clips. All right, inside the box, you're gonna get your new hitch and then this these two plastic pieces here those will be your new trim bezel in the back and then you have these new brackets to bolt on and then your hardware so first we're going to install these brackets just loosely onto the vehicle using this new hardware and so this is going to go since it says the left hand just gonna go like this like that and so you'll loosely put those bolts in there and then we'll do the other side and then we can put the hitch on Okay, at this part we're probably going to need a hand because this thing's pretty heavy. But you get an extra person and we can lift this up and then we'll use the new hardware. And you can either go up this way through into the body first or uh, through the side here into that bracket we just put on. Uh, whatever's easiest. Get a bolt started on each side and then we'll, after that we can put the rest of the bolts in and then tighten everything down.
when you tighten the bolts up, do the the bottom ones first, then the side, because the side one comes out and actually covers the head of this bolt here. Now we need to use a cutoff wheel or a saw to trim these plastic pieces so they'll fit around the, the hitch brackets. So on your right side, the passenger side, we're just gonna trim uh, this piece off right here. And that's about all you have to trim on this side. And then on this one, you'll cut a little more. I like to aim right, like right in here, go straight over to this line, and then take this line right here, pretty much just cut this line. So you're cutting this chunk out right here. And then in the back, you go like up this line here, and about down to, into this area, and then up, you're cutting this little rectangle out right here. Here's what they look like when they're all cut out. Yeah. So now with those pieces cut, we'll go ahead and reinstall both sides on, on here, and then we'll install the bezel trim that goes right here. This customer is not doing a wire harness, so but if you're doing a wire harness on this, you'd actually come out through this grommet right here with the factory harness, and it clips there and then comes along here and then bolts up. But since we're not doing that, we can go ahead and just reinstall the cover here and then over on this side and then we can do the bezel that goes across there. Here's what those pieces look like when they're installed. I don't have it bolted up, but you know, it makes a pretty clean hoop around the hitch. So this is still all nice and tidy over here. And then if you cut just that one little trick section out, this one just kind of goes right through here. So I forgot that this, this bezel has a like a hidden clip that you need to install. So it actually goes right there. So it'd probably be easier to clip that in before installing these pieces. But I just left this loose and was able to fit my fingers up through there and clip it in. And then there's uh, one on this side too, right there. So make sure you get those clipped in and then you can bolt the side shield back up. This is what you should be left over with. These are the clips you pulled out to access those threaded holes in the body. These are bolts for the rear trim bezel that you took off and then these are some clips for that bezel and since we installed a new one that comes with new clips so these two clips go one goes right here through it into the bumper like that and then you'll do one over here like that The 
final step and just installing the plug just like that and it's been completed hopefully this video is helpful i'll catch you guys on the next one